Guys, welcome to the Merry Boozers RC channel. Today we have the FMS V3 Avanti down here on the table. I'm really excited. I've always loved the Avanti platform, but have not had the uh, FMS version of this airplane. So, no better time than now. This is where the Reflex Gyro that they're starting to include in all the FMS models that are coming from Horizon Hobby. So this will be my first Reflex airplane. To accompany it, I have bought an AR620 receiver. Should be the perfect fit for this small park size airplane. Uh, and uh, we're gonna get this thing put together. So, out of the box, as you all know, they package them fantastic now. We didn't see any issues with ours. This is how it comes. We're gonna get this out of the box, laid out on the table, and get started on the assembly. All right, guys, so we got it out of the box. This is gonna be a really straightforward assembly. I love how easy these models are getting to put together. Uh, you have a whole pile of the same screws. They're all the same size in this one. And you will need a two millimeter Allen key to put this together. I do recommend getting an Allen key screwdriver. This is part of the E-Flight screwdriver set. I'll have it linked down in the description. And as always, we have our Ernst stand here on the table to assist making this airplane go together easy. We will have these linked down in the bottom if you decide you need one of these also. So let's get this thing put together, guys. It's gonna go really fast. We're gonna start with our horizontal stabilizer or our elevator as some call it. Uh, it has both servos mounted in the tail, ball links everywhere. We're gonna take our two connectors here and make sure we plug them in correctly. There's a piece of tape holding it down back here on the back. We're gonna go in and pull that piece of tape off. <laughs> we have a newborn child at home, so if you hear him in the background, welcome our little kid to the family. So, this part, guys, make sure you line up yellow to yellow, brown to brown. If you plug one of these in backwards, one of your elevators may not work. So make sure, because you've got to screw all this down, you plug it in correctly. Take a minute to double check. It does have little clips to keep them from coming unhooked once you get them in here. But just make sure you take your time and your elevator wires are hooked up correctly. Yellow to yellow, brown to brown. Snap them in make sure they're clipped. All right, once you have your wires in there correctly, you need to take and snake them up into the channel. There's a channel that goes into this part of the airplane that you need to make sure these wires are down in. That way they don't get in the way of screwing the actual elevator on. And this is kind of just one of them fiddly things that you're gonna have to do and make sure you don't pinch anything. If you get it right, it's gonna set down and not cause any issues. There's actually a piece of tape across here that's kind of holding these. I'm gonna go on and peel that up a little bit so that I can move these connectors out from under my elevator. See these connectors here? I'm gonna push them up in here. Now that'll set down really easy like that. And then I can push these up in here, right there beside the ESC wires, and I'm gonna tuck the excess up here in the front. Like that, and I'm gonna make sure I keep my rudder wire loose. But now you can see that all screwed down nicely. We're gonna take one of our screws now, and we're gonna put that in the back of the elevator. Now remember, this is a foam airplane. Do not over tighten stuff. We're gonna take it all the way down until it bottoms out. I'll feel it get tight. I'm gonna take two fingers on this little thing and I'm gonna tighten it until I can't go any further. The reason I do that with two fingers, guys, is I know I can't over tighten it. If you grab this thing and turn it, you'll start sucking the plastic down through the foam. Don't wanna do that. Now, we're gonna take our rudder next, check over everything, make sure there's no defects. I always like to just kind of hold some stuff, peel and pull, make sure that nothing's loose on this thing. We have our same one connector coming out. We're gonna take and plug that one connector in. Make sure you go yellow to yellow, brown to brown. I'm 
make sure it snaps in and it does like I said before we put it on it's always a good idea just to kind of give everything a pull we're going to take and snake our little wires in here we want to make everything as pushed down as possible here like I said you should not have to force anything as you put this airplane together it goes in from the front there's a piece that keys in in from the front we're going to make sure our wire is not getting pinched as we push this in this is the biggest thing once you have it where you want it it should just slide right in guys not hard to push in you shouldn't be forcing anything once you do that there is a plastic receiver on both sides we're going to take our screws once again they're the same size on both I'm not going to tighten it all the way up until I get both in. That way there's a little bit of wiggle room. All right, we have both of them in now. I'm going to go on in the same thing. Two fingers, turn it until I can't turn it anymore with just those two fingers. That gets our elevator put on. Give it a little tug, just make sure there's nothing loose. And it all looks good. At this point, we're ready to put our wings on. I'm gonna flip it over. Take my wing spar. Slide that into the airplane. Now, the Avanti has quick connects on the wings, so there is no servo wires to worry about plugging in. We're going to take this wing half, get it started, slide it all the way in, line up the wing spar with this. It's just a little touch off, so it's going to be kind of hard to get this one in the first time. There it goes. Come around to the other side. And once again, guys, as you put it on, just make sure you kind of look over the wings, all your control rods, make sure nothing's loose. I normally would do this a little more thorough, but once again, I'm trying to do this where you guys can see it. Get that keyed in, push it home, all right. Four screws on the wings, guys. Two millimeter, once again, same size all throughout the model. Love that they did that. Now, don't tighten them all the way. Do one, get it about halfway in, go to the next one. You wanna make sure you get them all started before you screw them down. It'll make it easier to get them started. Now that we have all four screws in, we can go on and cinch them down the rest of the way. Once again, do not over tighten. Two fingers is a good rule. What you can do with two fingers is going to get it tight, but not going to over tighten it. And I can't stress enough how much a difference having an actual screwdriver to do this instead of an Allen key makes your life so much easier, guys. Ta-da. All right, give us just a moment. We'll show you how to glue the wing fences on and then we are almost finished. All right, guys, next step is to put our little wing fences on. I've gone and just slid them in. You can go on and see how easy that is. There's a place keyed in for this on the wing. You just wanna make sure you key them in, slide them all the way up. Now, what we're gonna do is take, I'm gonna use this Zappo Foam Safe CA, but you can use your glue of choice, just make sure it's Foam Safe CA is the big thing. Um, but this purple one, I get this from Horizon, it works really well. Uh, works really good on foam airplanes though. So we're gonna get our wing fence all like we want. I'm gonna tilt the airplane to one side so that the CA is gonna run that direction. I'm gonna come in from this top part here and I'm gonna just take and run a bead 
through here. Like so. Now we're gonna let that set for a minute. After it sets off, I'm gonna tilt the airplane to the other side and do down the other side. Same thing on the bottom and the top, and we're gonna get it all over, but I just wanna show you one time. I did this one side, we're gonna let it dry, then I'm gonna do the next, flip the airplane over. We could easily go over here to the other side real quick, just to show you, I've already got it in here. Same thing. Take your time. And run a little B to C A in there. Let it set up. Like I said, we'll flip it over and do the other side. So give us a second. We're going to finish gluing these on and then on to the next step. All right, guys. So we have all that done. I've popped the hatch off. What I've done now is mounted a receiver right up here. There's not a lot of room to put a receiver in this airplane. So this is where I was able to put mine and my battery still clears. I ran all my leads from that gyro up to it. They're labeled, you just plug it in, throttle, aileron, flaps, rudder, you plug them into the corresponding uh, receiver that you're gonna use of your choice. But for now, we are using our Spectrum one. I have my NX8, you can use a six. It only needs six channels, but I have an eight. Anyway, I've set it up, wing type as one aileron, one flap, and the rest is just a blank acro model at this point. I'm gonna turn my uh, transmitter off and get ready to do a bind. I've got a 6S 4000 battery stuck in here right now. I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna reach up and hit my bind button. The receiver's starting to flash. I'm gonna step back a few feet, hit the bind button, make sure the landing gear are all clear. I heard the gyro initialize. And gear. And they work. So there it is, guys. That's all working. We're gonna set up some dual rates and this thing should be about ready to go fly at this point. All right, guys, that wraps it up. We're ready to go get this thing out to the field and get it flying. We're going to Florida E-Jets in no time at all. And we plan on flying this out there and having a great time with it. Airplane is a typical FMS or Horizon Hobby type airplane where they come out of the box, they go together super easy, and uh, a couple screws, we're ready to go fly. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video and you're thinking about getting this airplane, please check that Horizon Hobby affiliate link down in the description. If you buy it through us, we make a little bit of commission off of it. Feeds this little baby that Lori's holding right off a of camera right here. And uh, we guys will see y'all in the next video. Like, share, subscribe. Bye. Yeah! <laughs>